Rising from the beds of the Arabian Sea, Pakistan is one of the most strategically located countries in the world today. With more than 180 million inhabitants, Pakistan is seen as a promising emerging economy with immense potential. According to David Darst, former MD and chief investment strategist of Morgan Stanley, with over 100 million people below the age of 30 aspiring to change their lives, the rise of Pakistan is just a matter of time. Pakistan is home to Arfa Karim, who in 2004, at the age of nine, became the youngest Microsoft certified professional in the world. Like young Arfa Karim, Pakistan is brimming with IT talent, a result of world-class universities, a vibrant IT industry, and strong government support. The strong IT ecosystem has attracted world's most reputed IT companies such as Oracle, Microsoft, and Cisco to Pakistan. Pakistan has a very large base of freelance IT professionals, as is evident by Pakistan's top rankings on world's most reputed freelance markets. Realizing the importance of a strong IT industry infrastructure and its subsequent positive impact on Pakistan's economy, the Ministry of Information Technology established Pakistan Software Export Board to ensure sustainable growth of Pakistan's IT industry. The agency facilitates IT industry through a series of projects and programs intended to bolster the Pakistan's IT industry. Our policy is to put in place an accelerated digitization ecosystem uh, to spur economic growth and to build an, uh, a knowledge-based economy. Pakistan's IT exports have grown by more than 11 times over the last decade, growing at 30 to 40 percent every year. Pakistan is an IT powerhouse with more than 2,000 software houses and call centers and this number is growing every month. Our IT exports have grown by 45% since last year. Pakistan IT competence pool is probably the, the untapped secrecy of the world. I mean, that, that's a jewel available there and this is opportunity. And I hope that will become more widely known in the world in the coming years. It's very difficult not to consider Pakistan in IT. Pakistan has great potential. Only a small percentage of it is fulfilled. And it has all the ingredients for successful IT industry. We've seen a significant increase in terms of the companies that register themselves with uh, PSAP. And this is, let me clarify, not a mandatory requirement. The reason I say this is that doing business in Pakistan is fairly easy. Uh, there are no onerous regulatory conditions, at least on the IT side. Presently, there are 14 IT parks in main metros, and plans are underway to set up more IT parks within both primary and secondary cities of Pakistan to meet the growing demands of the industry. Located in the heart of major cities, these STPs would feature redundant services to ensure that IT companies can meet the mission-critical needs of their customers on a 24-7 basis. Pakistan is currently ranked fourth globally on Elance, the world's leading freelancing portal. Pakistani freelancers offer multiple services, including user interface design, programming, database administration, graphics and animation, software testing, and technical documentation. Pakistani IT companies have expertise in different IT services, including high-end, enterprise-grade software development, systems integration, mobile apps, gaming, animation, consulting, and BPO services such as telemarketing, technical support, medical transcription, and billing. Our IT professionals are a diverse and skilled workforce including project managers, business analysts, software developers, QA engineers, technical writers, graphics designers, web developers, and SEO experts. On the hardware side, we have system architects, systems engineers, network engineers, and information security professionals. A large number of our IT professionals have worked overseas, particularly in North America and Europe. Pakistan's IT industry has produced many success stories over the last decade. 
NetSol Technologies Incorporated was the first Pakistani IT company to be listed on NASDAQ in 1999, which provides software solutions to the global leasing and financing industry with more than 200 enterprise customers around the globe. The company's founder, Salim Ghalri, is well known in the international IT community. I'm very proud to talk about Pakistan industry because it is attracting old customers, staying uh, and referring uh, to the new ones to come and use our services. That is when you feel that your industry has matured up and offering quality standard services around the world. Pakistani Asher Aziz is the founder of FireEye, a Nasdaq-listed IT company which provides cybersecurity solutions for detecting and preventing cyber attacks with a current market capitalization of more than six billion. Mixit Technologies, which developed solutions for the global financial industry, including buy and sell side institutions and stock exchanges, was sold for 17 million pounds. One of the world's best payment processing solutions was developed in Pakistan by I2C. Convo, the hot favorite social network for work, is based out of Pakistan. Ideas Labs, previously featured at CNN, is working on a groundbreaking video-based technology to disrupt the way we interact with ads. Pakistan has a large number of technology incubators, accelerators, and co-working spaces, thus sustaining Pakistan's IT growth momentum. Civic hackathons, startup weekends, startup expos, Digital youth summits, like events, are producing the next generation of IT entrepreneurs and startups in Pakistan. Pakistan has produced some great gaming studios. The title animation sequence of Game of Thrones, the world's most watched TV series these days, has been produced by Hamid Shokat. Cricket Companion application, which received worldwide recognition, was also developed by TriCast Media, a Pakistani startup. Pakistani visual effects artist Mir Zafar Ali has received three Oscar awards for his work in The Golden Compass, Life of Pi, and Frozen. Novera Masood, a Pakistani animator, has provided stunning visual effects in some of the most popular Hollywood movies, including Maleficent, A Christmas Carol, Thor, Transformers 3, and Jack the Giant Slayer. Like Novera Masood, Lareb Ada is another emerging visual artist from Pakistan who has worked on visual effects for popular Hollywood flicks such as X-Men, Godzilla, and Gravity, to name a few. Hossein Rahman is the founder of Jawbone, a Silicon Valley startup which has been creating consumer technology and wearable devices for the past 16 years and was valued at $3 billion last year. Another Pakistani-owned Silicon Valley startup, Swagable, is valued at 20 million. E-commerce is also picking up in Pakistan with leading portals such as Daraz.pk, Packwheels.com, Foodpanda.pk, and Symbios.pk, to name a few. The State Bank of Pakistan has allowed the opening of Internet Merchant Accounts, which enables IT companies to receive payments online from their foreign customers using their bank accounts. TradeKey.com, the world's second largest B2B marketplace with more than 7 million registered members from over 240 countries, was developed in Pakistan. There is a rising wave of entrepreneurship in Pakistan at present, particularly in the IT sector. Talking about investments of Rocket Internet, a German venture capital firm, in different e-commerce ventures in Pakistan such as Karmudi.pk, Lamudi.pk, and Daraz.pk. Koeen Thizen, co-CEO of Asia Internet Holdings said, It seems that the country naturally has the entrepreneurial gene. A major chunk of the company's investments in Asia will be in Pakistan. With over 114 million mobile subscribers spread across some of the leading telecom operators, the demand for new and innovative mobile applications is growing by leaps and bounds due to the widespread deployment of high-speed broadband. To that end, Pakistan's mobile apps companies have shown extensive experience in developing both consumer and enterprise mobile applications for Android, iPhone, and Windows platforms at almost one-fourth of the cost when compared with North America and Europe. For instance, Cricket Power TM, 
a game developed by Mindstorm Studios, was selected as the official game of ICC Cricket World Cup 2011. A locally developed photo editor by Pepper.pk and Five Rivers Technologies reached the number one spot on BlackBerry's App World. Several apps developed for the iPhone platform have also reached top spots on Apple's App Store. Since 2010, 25 Pakistani IT companies have won gold or silver awards at Asia Pacific Information and Communication Technology Awards in different categories including startup, mobile applications, e-learning, e-health, e-government, security, supply chain management, communications, and financial applications. These achievements are a testament to the high-end expertise of the IT companies of Pakistan. Pakistan has a strong academic base when it comes to IT. Pakistani IT graduates are skilled in the latest IT tools and technologies to meet the changing demands of the global IT market. Many of these universities have technology incubators also, where IT graduates polish their business plans, develop prototypes, and market their innovative products and services to potential customers and investors. We graduate from Pakistan, they are already in Microsoft and other big organizations, in Intel and other thing, places. And uh, our universities are doing a good job to train them and to make them at par with the world standard. And this is the area where the youth is delivering basically and this is their area, this is their era. And this is a huge market, foreign investors need to come in this market. With more than 14 software technology parks, four submarine cables with satellite backup, five 3G, 4G operators, English-speaking IT professionals and high-quality resources available at up to 70% savings on annual operating costs when compared with North America and Europe. Pakistan is fast becoming a preferred destination for IT outsourcing and investment. We are extremely competitive in the global software IT space. We have absolutely no roadblocks that prevent us from operating in the digital space. And keep in mind that you'll always, always be getting your work done at 3x. That's unbeatable. So Pakistan by default becomes the first fishing ground for any sort of outsourcing work that you'd like to do. According to Jim O'Neill, a British economist, Pakistan would become the 18th largest economy in the world by 2050 with a GDP of 3.33 trillion US dollars, almost the same size as the current German economy. So the future looks very bright and promising for Pakistan, especially its IT industry and its budding young talent. The government is providing full support to investors in the IT sector and I would like to invite both foreign and local investors to explore Pakistan's growing IT industry and join us uh, in uh, this rising trade. The government advocates business-friendly policies and incentives for foreign investors in IT sector including zero taxes on IT exports at present, 100% repatriation of profits for foreign investors, up to 100% equity ownership, and seven-year tax holiday for venture capital funds. PSEF's goal is to take Pakistan's IT exports to the $10 billion mark by 2025, and we are confident that our industry will achieve this target because of the immense IT talent available in Pakistan. Today's Pakistan is well-placed as a significant player in the global IT industry. It is just the beginning of an age of budding, talented entrepreneurs and professionals riding the tides of impossibilities to make them possible and setting new standards in the global IT industry, like the young Arfa Kareem.